eating the clean part. <laughs> this year they asked us to work on the welcome shanty. Not gonna fit in the door. Let's, Let's go. go. I think it's going to be an interesting space to change. Good. They're crazy. Major funding for Sci Girls is provided by the National Science Foundation, supporting education and research across all fields of science and engineering. The National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. Additional funding provided by L'Oreal USA for Girls in Science. You can learn more at forgirlsinscience.org and by PPG Industries Foundation, committed to bringing positive impact to our communities. There's a place I go for inspiration. Gotta get to the web, check the girls' investigation. What the? But, 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 but I have to see my, 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 my star. Your star? I bought one online. It was only $39.99. I get to name it, and it comes with a Ginsu knife. <laughs> wow. Well, what'd you call it? My star is better than your star. I don't have a star. No, th th that's the name of it. <sighs> oh. There are like a bajillion stars out there. How are you supposed to find yours? It won't be visible for a couple of hours. Only pr pr problem is, I'm so c cold. <laughs> I can't hold my star map s still. You're never gonna find your star shivering like that. I n n no, I know. <laughs> it's time to call the Psy Girls. Psy Girls, I got a burning question for you. Let's see if you've got a hot idea. Watch for the arrows. They're clues for the Pick'em Stick'em game on the website. I got to know. I'm just eating the clean parts. Two, three. Are you sure that it's going to be cold enough to, um... It's all bumpy. <laughs> My name is Grace. I'm 11 years old. And living on the lake is fun. Every winter, we put an ice shanty on the lake so we can fish in it. They just, like, jump. <laughs> My name is Greta. We really like snow and we're always begging for it. Winter is probably my favorite part of being in Minnesota. I can see it. It's out like here. this thick. I'm so funny. I'm 11 years old. Hi. I would describe my personality fun, loving, and caring. You want to stop me now? <laughs> Hi, I'm Nikita. I like going outside. Living in Minnesota in the winter. It's really cold, and I get to wear hats like this. Every year on Medicine Lake, they have an event called the Art Chanty Projects. It's like a carnival on ice, and artists create themes for their ice houses. This year, they asked us to work on the welcome shanty, and our job was to make it more energy efficient. Jane is one of the artists who created the welcome shanty. Hi, hey, I'm Jane, I'm a sculptor. She brought the shanty to Grace's house and explained it's hard to keep it warm. As you can see, we built our shanty to be translucent so we could get heat from the sun during the day. And it has corrugated plastic on the outside and a one layer of bubble wrap on the inside. Jane thought that her ice shanty was too cold last year, so she asked us to figure out a way to keep more heat inside. We had to do a bunch of investigations to figure out how to keep the ice shanty warm for the people who are working inside. So, do you think you can help us? Yeah. yeah we'd love to. Okay, so. What I think we'll do is we're just going to pull it, slide it right off here. We're good? Oh, perfect. It was surprising because we really didn't know what the shanty was going to look like. Okay. Let's go! 
I'll guide this up. Sometimes there was confusion on which pieces went where. Um, it could be right side rear. Wouldn't that be on the right and then the back one on the right side? Okay. You're right. So right side rear. Okay, okay. I'm going to lift up. Got it. Got it. That's it. I think it's going pretty good. It was fun building the shanty. Okay, back up over this way. Everybody was crowding, trying to get their job done. Hi! Once we put it up, we were all like, oh yeah, we can totally make this warmer because it's so cold right now. There's so many things we can do with it. Let's look at the shanty. Woo! Oh, wow. Whoa. Oh, oh it's nice and warm in here, too. Yeah. It's warm outside. I thought it was going to be like, like that tall, and then the whole thing would only be this tall, but it's really like tall. It's way bigger than I expected also, but I didn't really think that it would be actually like an eight by eight square. I think it's going to be an interesting space to change, to make it warmer, just play around with the walls and the cracks. Ready? Ready? Here. One, One, two, two three, Sun Girls! The first thing we wanted to do was to figure out where the shanty was losing heat, especially after the sun went down. Hey. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Angela. Angela is a mechanical engineer who measures energy efficiency, and we asked her to help us. So what we're going to do today is test out um, just how much heat the, the house is losing using um, infrared camera. To take the measurements, first we have to warm up the shanty. There's actually a fan that's pushing warm air into your ice shanty. Just to show how powerful this tool is, take off your glove and go up there and put your hand on the wall and okay. hold it there for a second. Yeah. While Angela was um, looking at the ice shanty, I went up and put my hand against it. Okay, that's long enough. You can let go. See the handprint there? See it? Oh, that's so cool. The heat off my body stayed on the ice shanty for a couple seconds, so you're able to see where my hand was. What does the heat loss look like? The places that you're losing heat will show up red here, and it's quite a bit cooler down at the bottom of the building because that's where um, a lot of air is being drawn into the building, and then uh -huh. as it's heated, it rises, and then it escapes out the leaks in the top. Ideally, when you're done insulating an air ceiling, there'll be a lot less of these red, noticeable lines. So the blue is just cold, right, and it's not losing as much heat as the red is? Exactly. It's still losing heat, but not as much. Okay. Yep. Side Girls Rocks! My name is Greta, I'm 11 years old, and I enjoy playing soccer and basketball. Woo! My dog, Ruby, she's a crazy two-year-old chocolate black, and I play the French horn. <laughs> Bye. Okay guys, so don't you think we should look for like um, a mentor to help us insulate? There's the solar house competition. Oh yeah, in the University of Minnesota. What okay. if you go to meet, me, uh, meet us? Sorry. The team is responsible for designing and documenting the solar house. To click on her. Shen Yen built the solar house at the University of Minnesota. The solar house is definitely pretty cool. That really used a lot of insulating, so we thought it'd be good advice for us when we're insulating our shanty. Dear Shang Yen, we would like you to help us. We thought she could be a great help. We asked her, and she said yes. <laughs> Shang Yen? Hello. 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 Too. Solar house is definitely pretty cool. <laughs> it's not like the regular houses that we live in today. You guys want to start in the kitchen? Sure. sure. Okay. How does the kitchen work? One of the things in the kitchen that's unique is a lot of energy efficient appliances. All of these appliances, the oven, the cooktop, the fridge, and the freezer, they're really low energy. They're energy star rated. Oh, this is so cool. It looks 3D. These are a special kind of solar panel. Well, this portion has this glass kind, this bifacial that collects energy on both sides, or that creates energy on both sides. The roof has a slightly different solar panel. How come that is that solar panel? It's not solar panel. Because it's facing north. Um, it's not the best direction to get access to the sun. Oh, that's cool. It's getting chilly. Let's go back inside. <laughs>
We were really curious about the process that they used to design the solar house. Well, it was what we call an engineering process. Essentially, it's a little bit like trial and error. We come up with an idea, we test it out, we make prototypes, and we come together and make a decision on what the final should be. Xinyin helped us with some of the ideas for the investigation. Do you girls want to see the insulation that's in the walls? Is this in all the walls? Most of them, yep. And this is the insulation in the floor. Um, well, different materials let different amounts of heat through it and at different speeds. And then she kind of helped us figure out how we were going to actually do the investigations. But if you're trying some different things as insulation, you can do a lot of different kinds of tests. And your main test will be to see how quickly the temperature changes from one side of the insulation to the other. What would your recommendations be for insulation? Well, I'd recommend just playing with any materials that you can find. I would try anything. Um, even air can insulate. If you trap air and make sure it's not moving, that actually acts as an insulating layer, too. Like the thin like foam. foam. Like this. Yeah, what kind of things look like foam or remind sponges. you of foam at home? Sponges. sponges. Try some sponges. You may want to think about, in addition to testing the different types of insulation, testing what impacts insulation has on different surfaces of your shanty. So you can try insulating just one surface at a time, for example, the ceiling, and see what impact that has versus insulating one wall. Hi, my name is Nikita, and this is my brother, Hunter. Hello. We enjoy playing games and sports together like football. This is my mom. Are we there yet? Dad's an airline pilot. I like swimming. I play the cello. I enjoy ice skating Japanese anime but my passion is horses. This is my friend's horse, Gizmo. Say hi, Gizmo. Today, we are building a prototype of the shanty and testing which walls we want to put insulation on and what kind of insulation we want to use. I'll sketch. It's going to be about this big. Yeah, the whole shanty is a square. We built a little model of a shanty, so we wouldn't have to do the test on like a big eight by eight foot shanty. You're kind of scaring me there, Sukumani. <laughs> me and Nikita, we made a basic square and we used the same material on all five sides. You only need a 45 degrees angle, or 90 yeah. degrees angle. There you go. There, just like that. So I'm gonna hold it with my so hand wiggly. and you can put tape on there. You should use cardboard at the bottom and we put a hole in one of the sides so we could get the temperature using the temp probe from the inside of the box. We want to face it towards the shanty, That's though. Not... And then that can go right there. Well, the first thing we had to do was take the temperature on the inside of the prototype with no insulation. That's called the control. It's used to compare to other results. It's the only way that we could measure the impact um, of the insulation. So we're going to want to measure it from the shanty to the light. 30 centimeters. Oh, the temperature is 76.9. We turn the light on for five minutes. Go. You don't have to hold it there. You don't have to hold it. Just when we take the temperature. And then we record the temperature every minute. Now. Uh, 81.1. Until five minutes was up. Now. This is our fourth minute, actually. Now. Close. 87.5. Close it. And we turn off the lamp and we record it every minute until five minutes was up. We're seeing how fast the temperature inside the mini shanty drops. Now. 86.4. 85.4. Now. 83.4. We're going to cover this north wall opposite of where the sun is. Then we insulated the roof in one wall. We just taped the insulation on there. Ready? Go. After that, we insulated the roof and two walls. Finally, we did the roof and three walls. The first couple tests, we did it with the shanty on one side and we accidentally like moved it. We had changed the, the angle of the shanty from the light, so that might have moved the temperature probe and gotten a different result. The probe got closer to the light bulb, which was representing the sun. It went up high and then it kind of stayed high. I couldn't believe it at first. I was like, how could all of that be messed up? But the results were really weird, so that would explain why. I think it was a kind of a pain because we just got done with it, and then, oh my gosh, we have to redo it again. That was really frustrating. Sometimes to get it right, you have to do it over. 
I cannot believe this is what we're using as insulation. I tested it in Cheesy Poof's rule. All that air makes them poofily delicious and really good at holding in heat. Okay, all done. Let's field test this baby. Oh, yeah. Nice and toasty. Let's take a look with my trusty thermal cam app. Cool on the outside, warm on the inside. Ugh. Is it getting colder? Mm -mm. So cold. Still cheesy, but really cold. Heat is escaping everywhere. Cheesy poofs, too. <gasps> Eating the insulation? No. Jake. They're cheesy poofs. I can't be wrapped in cheesy poofs and <sighs> not, 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 not eat them. <sighs> I'm only human after all. Oh. We need a plan B. 30 centimeters. Okay. Here, how about we tape it down so it doesn't move around while we're sure. testing? Because we want to tape it on the bottom, or should we just like tape it to the side? Tape, tape it. On the side. Okay. Here, let me try. Got it. There. Okay. I'll turn it off and on when we need to. Ready, set, now. Thirty seconds. Okay, let's put on the this insulation. This is the right wall, right? Right? Yep, yep. yep. Okay, light. Oh. 78.2. 94.9 degrees Fahrenheit. We're done. Yay! <laughs> we figured out the difference between the high and the low temperature from each test, and the one that lost the least amount of heat was the best insulator. The roof and three walls lost the least amount of heat. We're all agreeing on the roof and three walls. Yes. yes. Okay. Hi, my name is Sikmani and I'm 11 years old. I've been dancing all my life. These are all the trophies I have won from dancing. This one was for Indian dancing. Hi, Dad! Hey, Sikmani. I'm going to show you my favorite dance set in the whole entire world. It's really cool. All you have to do is sway side to side. I like to play the violin, too. Hey. One last thing I like to usually do is play chess with my dad. Bye! Shingyin told us to use a cup and fill the top with the insulation. After we figured out which walls we wanted to insulate, we had to figure out which material would do the best job to insulate the shanty. When we tested the insulation, we put a thin layer of the cup with the insulation inside of it. This Little. one's too small. This one's way too small. Yeah, and this one's even smaller. We filled that with what kind of insulation we wanted. Greta got the control. I got sponges. Grace got bubble wrap, and Nikita got the cardboard. Which one do you think is going to be the warmest mm. after the 20 minutes? I was thinking the bubble wrap or the cardboard. Well, I just cut bubble wrap out, and then I'm going to wrap it in this plastic stuff so the bubble wrap doesn't fall out of it. But then the sponges, it's also kind of like that insulation that they used on the house at the U of M. Oh, we that's did perfect. It. Okay, we're just comparing what the sponges, the bubble wrap, and the cardboard, how their results turn out in comparison to the nothing. And when we tested the insulation, we had a cup of hot water. We took the temperature every five minutes for 20 minutes with each one. We tested all three insulations at the same time because we wanted to make it faster. And time starts. 197.7. Yeah, but we are doing five minutes. Three. Two. What's the One. temperature? Okay, um, cardboard, 193. It was kind of hectic. Uh, um, we'd be like, okay, this is our time. And then one person would be writing it down, and the next person would shout it out. It's only 19? And then we'd keep having to go through all three of us at the same time. Uh, Mine's increasing. 12 minutes, 20 seconds. 101, okay. 105, 102.7. Oh. <laughs> One. Where is it? Or 1.5. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, then we're done! And we subtract 
We figured out that the control, sponges, and the cardboard had similar results. And the bubble wrap dropped the least. That means bubble wrap was the best insulator. After we finished our test, we decided to use six layers of bubble wrap and to insulate the roof and three walls. Hey. Hi, I'm Grace. So nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> this is my brother, Jack. And this is my brother, Joe. Hi. So now I'm going to play the piano. OK, this is my room. I also like to crochet. This is just a little. Ripstick is one of my favorite things to do, even when it's cold. I think we should start um, filling in the cracks with the, the cock. Filling, yeah. Filling thingy majigula. The thermal camera, you could see heat really escaping from the top and all the cracks up here. And then there was less down here. So I will use sealant to cover up any holes or leaks. This stuff is really liquidy. I thought it's supposed to be more like foamy. The first sealant, well, it didn't um, hold together very well. It was too cold outside. Look at my fingers. They're freezing. So it made it really not very foamy, oh. kind of drippy. Yeah. 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 This is like the bubble of the bubble is wrapped. Ready? One, two. But I couldn't even imagine that much bubble wrap in my life. It's not going to fit in the door. 183 centimeters. Yeah. Ooh. Grab it. OK. Pull tight. Is that good? Yeah. Yep. Is that it? OK, we're done. Nikita, make sure that it's under that line. We insulated the three walls with six layers of bubble wrap. And I know we had lots of fun popping half of it. I'm having troubles Ooh. here. Awesome. This is so fun. It's so fun. <laughs> I can't help myself. But then we couldn't use it, sadly. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't think six will work, you guys. Let's do two at a time, OK? I like how everyone kind of works together and everyone has like their own thing that they're doing, but it like all comes together in the end. Um, in our experiments, we figured out that the bubble, ba the rub bubble wrap was the best insulation out of the three insulations that we chose, and that to do the roof and three sides was the best way to was the best way, way to, to insulate them. insulate them. Starting the new wall. Just do the middle. There's no reason to put four. You just need three in the middle. Or well, if not, you only need two. <laughs> that was a fail. It was finally time for us to see if all the work we did paid off. Careful, it's slippery. When Angela came back. Do you guys want to look at it? Sure. Yes. Yeah. We took another picture, which is the after. That's what our results were after we put all the insulation on. You know, you guys did a great job um, filling all the, the air leaks, but there's still going to be a few here and there. The heat loss is Whoa, not as bad as before. instead of 12. That's good. Yep, it's a lot warmer. So between your air sealing and insulating, you're keeping a lot more heat inside of the shanty. So you guys did a really great job. Yeah! <laughs> I thought that that was we did a really good job. Um, we all worked together. The shanty's going to hold more heat and keep the volunteers warmer. <laughs> There's our shanty. Now that the shanty was insulated, we were really excited to see it set up on Medicine Lake along with all the other shanties. We have to power this. I'm putting it through the hole so Sukumani, who's inside, can and connect it to the battery. Thank you. Got it. Great. Here. You guys ready? Yeah. Welcome to the Art Shanty Project. Our final job was to start welcoming visitors. Oh, uh, hi. Can you have a program, please? Yeah, this program tells you all about the art shanties and what is here. OK, perfect. Have, Have a nice good day. day. Bye. 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 I don't think it's such a good idea for bicycles to be on ice. <laughs> hey! hey. Wow, look at this. Yeah.
This looks, looks great. It yeah. looks wonderful. Yeah. What were some of the challenges? Well, I think the sealant was kind of hard because it got really gooey and didn't stick well. Wow. Well, no wonder it feels a lot warmer in here. Yeah, and to look at it, it looks great. The installation looked like it went well. Thank you. Thank you. High five. Good job. Yeah. All right. Good job. Good. Yeah, let's go look at other people's shanties. Here's the map. Yeah. Let's go. I think it was a great experience to learn new things and how to interact with different people. And it was really fun to get to know all the Psy Girls. Ta -da! Ta -da! And I think that we'll have a really close relationship after this. I felt really happy that we did a really good job. We could show off our good work. You're so cute. Oh, she's so cute. She's a little mouse. It was fun. Group hug. Yeah. <laughs> Got your clues? Head on over to the web and play pick 'em stick 'em at pbskidsgo.org. <sighs> okay, this should keep the warm air and cheesy poofs from escaping. Okay? Whoa, clue! So, you ready to find your star? Ready. Do you see it? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Are you sure? Maybe it's that one, or that one. They kind of all look the same. Yeah, but yours still rules. It does, doesn't it? Of course, I have a better idea for some fun. What's that? Woohoo! Ha! Ha! Oh, yeah! Bubble wrap popping rules! Thanks, Psy Girls! Yeah! Oh! Ooh! Today. So will the fans start working once the panel gets uh, the sun's light? It, it works. It works. Like, well, the best direction for a solar panel is perpendicular to the sun, the incidence angle of the sun. The more you turn it towards the sun, the faster it goes. Who's excited? Yeah. We are on a mission. Hip hop dance. To ask the question. <laughs> it's really hard. What are the best kinds of activities to keep us fit, Walking. healthy, Soccer. and strong? You guys should do it, too. This is like one of the coolest experiences I have ever had. Bees play a major role in pollinating our crops. We were playing hide and seek with the queen bee. Honey. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Take this. Major funding for Sci Girls is provided by the National Science Foundation, supporting education and research across all fields of science and engineering. The National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. Additional funding provided by L'Oreal USA for Girls in Science. You can learn more at forgirlsinscience.org and by PPG Industries Foundation, committed to bringing positive impact to our communities. Hey there! Hi! The Sci Girls website is off the hook. You can set up a profile, play games, create a page for your science project, watch SciGirls videos, and have fun. So come on, be a SciGirl on pbskidsgo.org. See you there. Bye.